All right, all you code monkeys, let's get uh, Scratch open. So we'll find Scratch. It's installed. It's installed on the computer. Go ahead and open it up. And I'll start from the beginning. We'll use our, your, our cat sprite. And what we want to do is we want to create a variable. We're going to ask the user several questions. Okay, we're going to ask the user their name their age, their weight, and anything else you want to add in this program. Okay, so we're going to make a variable for the name, for the age, and the weight. So just go ahead, go to, click on variables, click the make a variable button, and in the window, type out name, click OK. You're going to do it for all sprites because this is going to be a simple program, it's not a game. So then you want to make another variable. If you've already done the name, go ahead, you're good. Let's create one for age, and we'll create one for weight. So now we have our three variables. Notice they're all set to zero. That's just the default. Okay. And so what we want to do is we want to set a script so when the program runs, it's going to the cat's going to introduce itself. Now, you don't have to use the cat for your sprite. You could introduce another sprite. So in order to get a new sprite, you just click on that folder under new sprite. Now let's go find uh, something from fantasy, for example. Find a sprite that you like. And once you find it, go ahead and put it down. Use a robot. And then I'm going to delete this sprite. So I'm just going to right click on the sprite, choose delete. Okay. If you already have that sprite and you have a bunch of scripts to it, but you want to change the way it looks, you can click on costumes and you can import any of these sprites that you have available to change the costume. If you don't like the way it looks, you could do Dragon 2, for example, and do it instead. The other thing you could do is you could go into your folder and you could get any graphic that you've saved and import it. Okay. So let's go back to the script. So what we want to do is have this robot introduce itself, the nature of the program, and ask some questions of the user. So the first thing we want to do is uh, set it up so when the green flag is clicked, it will introduce itself. So we start with the green flag is clicked. Now, it's, uh, when it talks, it's how you see it. So it's under looks. So you click on looks. And there's a say hello for two seconds. There's a think for two seconds. So let's just say hello. If you want to, you can introduce your... All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together kind of a, a thing that the robot's going to talk, say, introduce itself, and uh, then ask the user questions about it. So, hello, my name is Robbie. And now what I want to do is I want to ask the user their name. So I click on Sensing. Ask, what's your name? Fortunately, they know that that's a very common question, so they put it there. And we're going to need the answer to the question, so you're just going to drag answer out while you're on that screen. Programming 2, guys. Hush. Josh. Hannah. Hannah. Josh. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we're going to ask what's your name. We're going to wait. Uh, so what we not want to do now is we want to set name to the answer. Notice it says set age. Well, we can drag it out and we can change the variable here. So we're going to set name and then we just wanted to grab answer and put it where that zero was. In order to drop it in, hover until you see it highlighted in white and let go. Um, and now I'm going to say something and use the name variable in order to talk. So I'm going to say nice to meet you, and then put their name. Now, if you want to represent their name, you want to grab this name out here, and I'm just going to set it aside. Otherwise, I'm going to have to come back to the screen. I know I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go back to looks. He's going to say something again. 
Now at this point, what I want to do is I want to combine what the robot says with the variable. Okay? So say it says say hello for two seconds, but I want to say hello and I want to refer to the person's name as the variable here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to this, this green window that says operators, and there's one that says join. See, it says join hello and world. So I'm going to drop that where it said hello before, and I'm going to say hello and drop the name in there. Actually, I'll put nice to meet you. And let me do this, uh, expand this out a little bit. Nice to meet you, name, for two seconds. Now, what if I want to join something on the other side of the variable name? I can grab the join hello again, pull it out. I'm going to take this one, drop it on the left, and then I could put a period here or whatever. And then when I'm done, I take this outside one and I drop it right in the middle. All right, so now let's just go ahead and test it out and see if it works. So I'm going to click on the green flag. There, he introduces himself. What's your name? I'm going to put my name down here. It's not my name. I'll just put something here. And there we go. Now, that was a little short, so I might change how long he says it for. Play it again. Test it out.